The 100 Women Who Care in the Mid-Ohio Valley had its quarterly meeting earlier this evening in Belfry. Our Haley Lanham went over to check it out. The 100 Women Who Care in the Mid-Ohio Valley is a group that started back in 2021. Their mission is to help local nonprofits, and during the event, three nonprofits will speak, the board will vote, and pick a winner to send funds to. So far, they have raised $70,000. 100 Women Who Care in the Mid-Ohio Valley was started in 2021. It brings women together from across the Mid-Ohio Valley at quarterly. Every time we meet, um, all the women in attendance donate $100, and all of our money goes directly to our event um, winners. So we have three nonprofit, local nonprofit organizations that come and speak at every one of our meetings. For Jessica, she was inspired to start the 100 Women Who Care after hearing about it from coworkers. They have been holding meetings ever since 2021, but took a break after she was diagnosed with breast cancer. The 100 Women Who Care in the Mid-Ohio Valley have unwavering support and at times have had over 100 women within the club. I heard about another 100 Women Who Care group in the Cleveland area from a coworker, and I couldn't get out of my head and I just felt really called to start one in our area. And so we've met quarterly every every quarter except for last January. I, I was diagnosed with breast cancer, so we took a couple of months off. Every member of the board is a volunteer and make time in their busy lives to put together a great event for local nonprofits and the community. It's better than I could have ever imagined and I could not do it alone. So I have a volunteer board that has helped me from the beginning. I called together a group of girlfriends and said, hey, I've got this crazy idea. I'd like to put to together this group, but I couldn't do it alone. Um, and that's kind of our motto. Together we can do more. And from our board to our larger collective group, I think that motto is so appropriate. In Belpre, I'm Haley Lanham with WTAP News. This is home.